hi there welcome back again to my youtube channel where i teach you how you can make female um dresses styles and new design for yourself or for your clients so in this video today i'll be teaching you how you can make your corsets dress so stay tuned as i take you through if you're new here kindly please subscribe to my channel also please don't forget to turn on your notification bell to get notified each time i upload if you're already a subscriber thank you so much so let's get right into this video here is the pattern paper i'll be using the first thing i did is i outlined half an inch for the guide that will stand as my shoulder line so i will outline it now using my pattern master so after doing this the next thing i will be taking is my shoulder to shoulder measurement which is 8 inches so after taking out the 8 inches i will outline it using my pencil and then i will go down again by 1 inches which will be for the shoulder slope so the center front again i will go in by 3 inches for the um, neck width and then after doing this i will go down by 8 inches for the chest line from the shoulder downwards to the chest line which is eight inches so i'll outline that now remember this is corset so from this um line which is the slope i'll go down again by seven inches as you can see me doing so i'll then um rule it from that end there i'll make a straight line so after doing that i'll just be taking all the vertical measurement which is the bust line the under the bust and the waist line and the um, length of the blouse i'm making which is 23 inches basically this is just from the shoulder downwards to where your blouse will be stopping which is upper your hip measurement so that's what i'm outlining right now so for the bust uh, line i took um 10 inches instead of 11 inches and then for the waist it's um 16 inches instead of 17 so that's all i will be um, needing so after outlining that i will be connecting from the shoulder slope downwards to the um neck width as you can see so from there i will measure eight inches again for the arm o from the shoulder downward so the next thing i'll be doing now is taking the bust pan which is the bust point so this will be taken from the bust line downwards towards the ends of your um, blouse so i'll be taking four inches that is eight eight inches dividing it into two which gives me four inches so now You'll be ruling everything together as you can see me doing so just note that this includes the allowance of, which is one inches so that makes it eight inches so now from that end there i already went up by two inches i don't know if you can see this so i will take uh, my measuring tape again and just be outlining the normal um that intake for the waist line so i'll go down here from the bust line i'll go down by one inches so this is just to you know um this is just as a guide before taking the proper uh, measurement so now i'll go up by two inches i'll outline that from the down of the blouse yeah i hope you can see it clearly now because the the power went off before so now i'll be outlining from the shoulder slope downwards to the arm o area which is the chest line after doing this the next thing i did is um, connecting from the uh, midpoints so i'll go in right now by half an inch and then after going in i'll take the proper um the actual bust measurement and then i'll be connecting the three lines from the shoulder slope to the um half inches and then to the actual um bust line bust measurement and note this is for the front after doing that i'll start taking all um the dots for this um corset so remember we went up by two inches before outlining where the dots will be stopping 
at the down area of this uh, blouse so now you either go in by um from the bust palm you either go out by one inches or four quarter of an inch or three quarter depending on the bust you're working with so remember this is the waistline now so i'll just be outlining it from that one inches and went down from from the bust line as you can see me doing so after doing this now as you can see the next thing i will do is taking the dart intake from the shoulder line so i will be dividing the shoulder into two then i'll connect it straight down to the um, bust line so i'll just divide this into two right now as you can see me doing so you place it on your shoulder slope like so and then you connect it using your pattern master or your ruler after connecting it the next thing i will be doing is working on this that area that i just outlined so i'll be going out from this underbot that from um this very point here so i'll go out by um three quarter of an inch so you can either use half an inch depending on the kind of um bust you're working with i am working with a very large you know busty person and um i need this to be seated so you connect it from that your new from the new point i just outlined it now i'll connect it to that direct that i outlined initially from the waistline so now i'll be connecting it with using my pattern master now the cover area as you can see me doing it so you just use your cover area like so and then you connect it to that new um, point you just made i just made so i'll connect it both sides as you can see me doing after doing that the next thing i'll do i'll take this um that i'm having here this is two and a half inches and i will go to the boss point from the boss point just pay attention to these details from the boss point the lines here you go up by the two and a half inches and then i'll be adding extra one inches to it one and a half inches depending on how you want your cleavage to show or you want it to be covered so i want mine to be covered before taking the closing that now i will first um, be shaping this area here so just pay attention you can you know either go down by half an inch or one inches depending on how low you want the sweetheart neck to be so what you need here is half an inch so i will either be taking it from here or you go down um by um another half an inch so i'll be going with the first line so you can either go from this line here and curve your cup using the pattern master or you take it directly from the upper one so i'll be using the upper one so here is it as you can see i'll connect it now using my pattern master next thing you trace out the sweet out neck as you can see me doing so what i'll be doing is is taking out the dart so i'll just be explaining shortly how i came up with the dart as you can see i already made it out so you uh, make sure this area which is two and a half inches and you come to this up the center side will be one inches while the one going to the side same will be one and a half inches making it two and a half inches and then you can see how i connected it from the upper side because i want it to be well seated so the next thing i will do now is showing you how you can achieve the side cup so you make sure this ham will line so whatever you get there that ends on that your um bust measurement you divide it into two so you sketch it out and then you go down again by half an inch so you connect it straight you connect a straight line from that means you're, you're you're using a new um armhole line now so your um corset will be sitting properly out after taking out the yoke so this is why we are doing this so that your underarm will be you know well seated so now i'll be using just my free hand to connect it from that that there to the 
the line I just outlined. So after doing this now, I'll take out the bust measurement again. Uh, remember, we are going to be taking this um, dart out at the end of the day and we're going to be joining it. So I'll be adding these lines now. I will take out this. This is two inches. I will add it there. So just note, whatever measurement you're doing now will be on the new line, which is the one we just did now, which is on this line. So I'll go down again and then I'll take my bust measurement, the bust measurement I'm working with, dividing it into four. I will outline it on that new line. So I will add these two inches I'm having on this dot. I will add it up to the line and then I will add my sewing allowance and that will be all for that. I'll take my marker now and then I'll connect it on a straight line um, to the new line I just, you know, we just did now. So that will be all for that. So I will trace out this now using this curvy part of my, um, using the curvy part of this pattern master and then I'll just be tracing it out tracing it out like so as you can see so um that will be all for that so the next thing we're going to be doing now is you know just tracing out where the yoke will end so that's where the yoke will be ending because of the sewing allowance will not be there afterwards so now i'll take the pattern master now and just curve it from this um area here remember from the underarm wall where we divided then Remember this area where I divided the other time. So that is where you'll be connecting your curvy part from, from the side area. So I'll connect it now using the curvy part of this pattern master. As you can see me doing, and that will be all for the curve curving. So I'll label this now. After labeling it, the next thing I'll be doing, you know, for the upper area, I... If you if you, you you can actually leave it like this but for it to sit properly and close um, the way you be you feel comfortable that it will grab and hold your bust properly at the top at the upper area you need to you know add like um just one um, bar of from your you know from your measurements from your tape so you just had it and then just a little and then you connect it again using your um pattern master as you can see me doing so you can actually use your marker now to connect it so just watch closely i'll be outlining this one by here the one by just outline now to the that i already made going to the um, bust line so i'll connect it now as you can see with my marker i'll connect it and then to get an accurate you know um cup from the bust line to the upper part of your dress so what you need to do is make sure this is three and a half and then you trace it like so connecting it to the other part of your cup as you can see me doing this is three and a half so i will outline it as you can see this part here is longer than this very one i'm outlining now so you do this now and then you transfer it to this other side i hope you all understand what i'm doing here so and then i'll connect it with my free hand tracing it to meet up with the under arm o as i as you can see me doing so then i will then um outline the one bar to this other side transferring it down to the that intake here so it is accurate so this is just to make your upper corset cup sit properly on your um chest line so it won't be looking gapy or when you bend down and it will be showing um not comfortable so this will actually grip your bust i don't know if you understand what i'm saying so now i'll be taking all um measurement for the circumference of this corset dress so this is the under arm o now i mean under bust you take your measurement your actual under arm o measurement and then you'll be transferring this two and a half inches over there 
so and then you had extra one and a half inches for sewing allowance so you come here up, which is the waistline you take your actual waist measurement dividing it into four and then you add the two inches you have on the waistline and then you had your extra one and a half inches and that will be all for the waist part of this dress so the next thing i will do now i don't know if you can see this is taking the upper hip measurement so just pay attention before you go about this so if you're going to be adding hip pad so you have to take your direct hip measurements and then you will take you will add the extra inches of the pad you are adding so you add it to your hip measurement and then you divide it into for you outline it so why i'm doing this is just so your your dress can be you know fit at the end of the day after adding your hip part to the dress you're making so i'll go up now by three inches remember this line here this um corset i've drafted out is from the shoulder to the direct hip line of the dress i am making so for you to get your actual you know corset top now you have to go up by three inches which i just did i went up by three inches so from the hip line from your shoulder to your hip line I went up again by three inches so what i'm doing this is just so your dress will look accurate after adding your hip part to your dress so now i'll connect all lines together so after doing that from that three inches i went up from i'll curve it meeting it up with the actual um top length so which is the blouse length of this corset so as you can see so that will be all so let me just try and explain this again so the from your hip line to your upper blouse length is two inches so with addition i added additional one inches to the side which makes it three inches so now before cutting out this now which is the yoke the upper side of the dress i will um be outlining the neckline now on the shoulder slope on the shoulder slope i will go in on this neck width area i will go in by one inches and then i will go down by four inches on the uh, neck depth so i'll connect it using my pattern master now after connecting it i will we'll take my scissors and start cutting this out now After cutting all patterns note that before cutting it on fabric you'll be adding extra inches to the curves and the yoke before joining everything together so here is the back bodies now I already outlined every lines together and here as you can see so here is the yoke line i did for the front and here is the half inches is half inches i went down from the chest line so before taking your darts note that this is the bust point for the front and again i i transferred it to the back so before doing that i have to add extra one inches for the zipper allowance so i will transfer the that the same that i use for the waistline i transferred it to that area so where your dart should be starting and from is um you measure nine inches from your shoulder downwards that's where the that for the back panel will be starting from so you connect the lines after connecting the lines you remember the two inches i went up from from the um hip line you also connect it to the waistline which is 
the dart you're going to be taking so you, as you can see i'll take out the neck depth now for the back panel so i'll go down by one and a half inches so this is just for the back um i'll also be connecting it from the neck weights with my pattern master to the neck depth so that will be all for the neck part so now i will be drafting out where how i want the back yoke to look like so I'll connect it directly to meet up with the darts as you can see me doing so the next thing i'll be doing now is taking out the amount of um, space i will need the back to look like for the um, corset loops so now i'll from this waistline i'll go in by two inches so i just want that area to look a bit snatched you understand so on this part here i'll be going in by one and a half inches and also for the lower part i'll go in by one and a half inches so i'll then shape everything using my pattern master to do that as you can see me doing just so it gives that lovely back you know shape so after doing this i'll then take the actual uh, measurement for the waistline i'll include the you know the dart intake i'll outline everything together i'll just take the measurement basically i'm just taking the round measurement dividing it into four before outlining it i will transfer the dart measurement and then for the sewing allowance as we added one and a half inches then on the chest line as you can see i already you know take this measurement and added with the you know with the and note whatever measurement you are taking should be after the zipper allowance you already made so it gives you the accurate size so as you can see me doing i'm taking everything from that zipper line afterwards the one inches so i will do likewise to the hip line as you can see me doing so i'll connect it i will do all what i did for the front you know hip line connecting it to the waistline and then to the bust line and that will be all for the back measurements so um the next thing i will do i'll take the the back um bodies on the on the other side i will curve it like so you can see i am using the actual curve part so i don't want i don't want it to look um one should be longer than the other one should be wider than the other so that is what i'm using i'm placing the pattern paper on it so i'll just shaping it using my pattern master now and i will start cutting it out using my scissors guys we have come to an end of this class please watch out for the part two as you can see on the screen is very very loaded where i'll be showing you how you can you know cut it and you know use your boning so everything together and um guys if you enjoyed this video so far kindly give it a thumbs up like comment and um, share to your loved ones and also turn your notification bell on subscribe to my channel and i'll see you again in the next one guys bye